it's slow, it's not specific, uh, it takes forever, sometimes you call it and then it just kind of doesn't work. Like the struggles of this elevator, first of all, it's very slow and also it smells sounds... really bad in here. Yeah, it really... Out of the way of everything, it is all the way on the other side of the school from all of my classes. It takes me forever to get there, so if I'm going to be late to class because I can't walk, I'm going to be even later because of the elevator. Although only 1% of students in high school are disabled, in a school like Columbia High School with around 2,000 students, that leaves 20 students who have to suffer from this and have to deal with the problems of waiting for the elevator. Some students with handicap begin to speak out and start fundraising, such as Archer Hadley, a student with cerebral palsy attending a high school in Texas. To quote him, One day, it was raining. As I'm trying to open the door, water's gushing on my back. I'm getting soaking wet. I tried this for about five to seven minutes, and I got really frustrated, and that was when I realized, hey, I've been to a lot of public places that have automatic doors. Why can't I do something about this? After this, he began a fundraiser to raise money for automatic doors, which was named Wheelchair Challenge. In this challenge, students would challenge their friends to spend a day in a wheelchair, and this cost $20 to do this. To quote Lacey, a member of the DA administration, accessibility throughout the entire building should be the goal, but it is not always possible or even required. Districts with tight budgets should. The Columbia High School elevator sucks. It constantly breaks down and takes as long as the passing period to show up, giving students a disadvantage in schoolwork by showing up for their class late. The school prioritizes athletics over handicapped capabilities, and because of this, there are so little ramps and elevators in the school that it makes the lives of those handicapped students much more difficult in the school. As the voice of our school, students must get together and promote better handicapped capabilities.